Today we're going to look at the visualizer software that goes with the IPVO VZX document scanning camera. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Well, because so many of you guys wanted to see it, today we're taking a look at the visualizer software. This is free software brought to us by IPVO and it can be used, I believe, with any of their document scanning cameras. So the software is available on both PCs and Macs. So we've got a couple things to look at here. Uh, one thing about the camera before we jump onto the computer, I'm gonna leave the camera in this basic configuration and I'm also not gonna be using any of the controls on the camera here. I'm only gonna be featuring the software today in this video. If you want to learn more about the IPVO VZX document scanning camera, what it can do, its controls, all of that, check out the video I made recently. I'll have a link in the description down below. All right, first things first, let's launch the software. So this is the interface for the software. It's very similar to other webcam interfaces or even camera interfaces. You have your viewing area here in the middle. You have controls down here in the bottom center. We have options over here on the left side. And then we have a little panel down here in the bottom right. So there's a lot of different controls in here, guys. I'm not going to be going over everything because that would just be way too long of a video. I'm mainly going to hit the highlights that affect particularly us as visually impaired individuals. I encourage you to check out the IPVO website if you want to learn more about everything this software can do. One of the things I want to talk about over here on the left side is we have a zoom slider. So if I slide it, we can zoom in and zoom out. Let's find some text. Spoiler, he turns into a beautiful butterfly at the end. Sorry, I know, I know. I probably ruined it. Okay, let's take a look at that text there. Ah. So now, this is a digital zoom, so you are going to lose some clarity in the higher zoom region. We can rotate, we can do the mirror function, you can adjust the exposure, we can brighten up this image, which we might want to brighten it up a little bit. There we go. We can adjust the color, the white balance, but I also want to talk about the different color filters. So we have a list of filters here. Normal, black and white, inverted black and white, red on black, yellow on black, yellow on blue. Yellow on blue is terrible. <laughs> I very rarely met anyone that likes yellow on blue. You guys let me know in the comments down below if you prefer yellow on blue. Let's take a look at yellow on blue. Does anybody prefer the yellow writing on a blue background. Somebody does, obviously. Uh, then we have white on blue, inverted color, grayscale, and a sepia. So let's just go through them here. So we have normal, black on white. So we do have a little bit of video um, anomalies, or I don't even know what you would call that, but definitely something to take note of. There is the white on black. Here's the red on black. Yellow on black. There's our favorite yellow on blue. White on blue. Inverted color. Grayscale. And a sepia. So those are the different color filters, color schemes. So if you prefer reading in a different color like that you have that option all right i have this magazine here that i'm going to use to demonstrate the ocr text to speech the control is actually down here in the shutter button what's essentially the shutter button currently it's on snapshot but there's a little arrow right above it that when you click it it brings up all these other options that we can choose from and there's a ton in here. This is where your time lapse, your slow motion, your stop motion, 
document scanner, QR code scanner. That's where all of this is going to be. But there's two specific ones in here that I want to feature. The first one is text to speech. So when I click on it, now it turns this little shutter button into uh, whatever you click on. So right now it's text to speech. So if I were to take a picture right now, it's going to OCR this entire page, but maybe I only want one section. So we can use our zoom controls over there on the left, but they also have all of the different options assigned to keyboard shortcuts. And you guys know I love keyboard shortcuts and I'm a big proponent of using keyboard shortcuts. It makes everything much easier and quicker for us. So in order to zoom in uh, on the PC here anyway, it's control and the arrow up. And then down at the bottom left here, you notice there's this little box that has popped up that indicates where the focus is on the screen, where the, the zoomed in section, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and do it just like that so I don't get any of the other column in the picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the text-to-speech. So it took a picture displays the picture on the left side and then renders all the text out over here on the right. We have a couple options down here at the bottom. There's a play button here where we can listen to the text. We'll do that in a second. We can choose what voice we want right now. It's just assigned to my default Microsoft voice. You can choose what language. I can speed up or slow down the voice. Over here to the right, I can save this, and I can also enlarge the text that's displayed to make it a little easier to follow along with. But we're going to go ahead and push play to see how well this did. Perpetuate were on or me prores runs. Historically, the physician widely has been accepted as the clinical leader and decision maker, however, with the growth and variability of many healthcare fields, the Calabra. Okay, I'm gonna pause there. Now you also notice that a highlight was going along as it was reading, so that will allow you to follow along. And I believe I can jump to whatever word I want read here just by clicking on it and then pushing play. The patient's needs. Yeah. Although much research assesses. So that's pretty good if there's just a certain passage that you want read out loud or a phone number or something like that, you could jump right to it. Now, of course, you're going to get a better reading with good lighting. Uh, if you're in a dark room, even if you have the light turned on on the camera, it's not going to get the best reading uh, or OCR results. I mean, that's just true for any OCR device. Also keep in mind that if you have the light turned on and you're on like a glossy magazine page, you may get a highlight on the page that is going to affect the OCR results as well. So the last thing I wanted to show you was another one of these options in here. Uh, it's this one called Magnify. So now that I have it on the button here, whenever I click it, it creates this little magnification window and I can grab it, move it around, just like a little magnification lens. So for example, I had a page here with some images. I could maybe read the text here while still being able to see the images all on one screen like this. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was all the way up here at the top, there's this button to switch to larger UI. We switch to a much larger user interface with a much larger button here. I click on this, you see how much larger the icons are, easier to see, pretty cool. We've lost our controls over here, but they're still here, they're just in this little menu, hamburger menu. So here are all of our controls and they're much larger than they, they were previously. Like here's the zoom. The zoom doesn't have a slider anymore, it's simply plus and minus buttons. Also, incidentally, if you click on the screen here, all the controls disappear and you have this full screen mode. 
Once again, there's keyboard shortcuts for all of this. Our controls down here are much easier to see. So this larger UI is pretty cool and this is probably the way that I am gonna use it from now on. Okay guys, well there you go. That was a look at the IPVO Visualizer software. If you'd like any more information about everything I talked about today, be sure to head over to the IPVO website. And if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you will stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. Thanks again for watching, guys. Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time. All right, you made it to the end. So check out my most recent video, click right there. Or maybe a video that was generated specifically for you because you're so awesome right down there. Also, be sure to check out The Blind Life Amazon shop linked down below where you can find the cool VIP t-shirts. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.